Hello everyone, my name is Ruan and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So you might be someone that is interested in changing careers to computer science. Maybe you are starting a career and you want to make it computer science. I am somebody that already has gone to university and I've done a few things, but I want to change. I want to do something else with my life. I want to go into computer science and in this video, I want to share with you how exactly I plan on doing that, what I want to go and study, what exactly I'm going to follow, which course, what curriculum, etc. And then I want to show you how I plan to do that in only two years. Let's get into it. How do I plan on doing this? Well, I want to go through a computer science degree that is available completely online and mostly for free. So if you look over here, it's called Open Source Society University, right? OSU. The web page is available on GitHub and it's open source. It's completely free. It's completely open for anybody to use, anybody to follow. The amazing thing is that this curriculum meets the standards of the IEEE and other such governing bodies for computer science. And in addition, the courses that you can actually take are from universities like Harvard, Princeton, MIT, top schools. It's really unbelievable that we are at a point where you can get a university level education for free online from some of the best places you can possibly think of. So let's just scroll through this and see what it's all about, right? You'll see here's the curriculum. So there's some prerequisites an intro, core and advanced. First of all, prerequisites, you need math. But honestly, even if you didn't take high school math, I'm sure you can find a way to bridge that gap. There's a lot of resources online, a couple of Google searches, you'll find something that can help you out there. So the introduction is a good place to start, right? You can do either Python for everybody, this introduction to computer science, I believe this one's from MIT, or you can do something else. I personally went with CS50, which is a course provided by Harvard, and it's, it's phenomenal, right? It's very good. So I can recommend that one as well, and I'll link to it in the description. But you can do anything you want, really, as long as it's a high quality introduction to computer science. Basically, what it's going to give you is a feel for the subject matter. Is this something I'm interested in? Do I want to continue down this road? If you come out of an introduction or if you don't even make it through an introductory course, maybe computer science isn't for you. So, you know, look for something else. There are many other things that you could do that are equally fulfilling. You know, you might even find it better than computer science. But for me personally, I loved CS50 and I'm really eager to get into computer science, get into the nitty gritties, really go through a complete degree. Going through this, the core CS, I'm really going to fly through this there's some programming some math some tools systems theory you can see it all here you can go through this on your own time basically what this part is all the core stuff is like the first three years of a degree from there you would go to advanced this is your final year this is a year full of electives you specialize in something so there are these buckets of programs like advanced programming systems theory, information security, and math. You can choose what you want to specialize in. I have no idea what I want to specialize in, and I have a feeling you might not either, but that's fine. Let's go through the core section first, and when we get to this point, we can make a decision. And you know what? You can even do all of it. Why not, right? If you have the time and you are willing to put in the work, go for it. Then finally, you do a final project, right? And this project will be the capstone. This is what binds everything together. This is how you prove to industry that, look, I am a computer scientist. Look what I can do, right? You have something that you can show for your work that proves that you have the knowledge and the skill set to be hired as a computer scientist. Also, I don't have any idea which one of these projects you might want to do. I don't know what I want to do. Again, it will depend on your specialization. So what you choose in the advanced section would probably be leading you towards specific type of projects. But again, we'll get there when we get there. This is more than a year off. Let's be honest. There's a lot of stuff to do before we can choose a final project. Okay. From there, uh, they talk about the evaluation. They tell you you can cooperate, etc., etc. You can go and read through this, but basically uh, that's, that's everything I wanted to cover. The next section is how I actually plan to fit all of this into two years. If we scroll back up, back to the summary, all the way up here, you can actually see that they give you a potential duration for all of this work. And it's only two years, as you can see highlighted on my screen. That is given that you work 20 hours a week. Now, 
I'm thinking let's work 30 hours a week. That to me seems like a reasonable number. So I'm going to push it a little bit harder. And also it is possible that you get stuck and you know, things happen, life happens. So for me to ensure that I get to the two years, I'm really going to aim for the 30 hours a week. Now they do provide a spreadsheet and it's pretty cool if you look at it. You could actually put in the amount of hours that you want to work when you will be starting and what's nice they give you this little graph that shows you roughly how far you will get and when you'll finish right here at the end and it also gives you a breakdown of the whole curriculum here in this spreadsheet. Now it doesn't show you all the advanced programs you might want to edit this and put your own stuff in depending on what you want to do but generally most of it's there. And it's pretty nice. Now, my spreadsheet looks a bit different. And this is what I kind of want to show you. I included a lot of stuff on the side over here, right? You can check. There's a lot of going on. And this is basically me keeping track of how much time I'm spending on every single course. For instance, I've already started with how to code uh, sample data. So you can see that on this date, I spent three hours and I ticked it off. On this date, I spent four and I ticked it off. My goal, like I said, is 30 hours a week. That comes to 20 in the week, Monday to Friday, and 10 on the weekend. So this is going to keep me on track. I'm going to see, okay, I maybe I made it or I didn't make it. Maybe I need to put in a bit more time. Maybe I don't. I don't know. But it's going to tell me, okay, roughly where I am, what my progress is. And you guys will actually be able to follow along because I'm going to share a live version of the spreadsheet with all of you. Okay, if we go through this, you'll see the core math, everything, core systems, theory, that's all here, right? It's all here. Even the advanced section, I put in everything. So that if you want to use it, you could choose any one of these. And if you want to do all of them, which honestly, I might do, it's there, right? I can fill it, fill in everything. And actually, what's interesting, right here, I have the totals, right? So here you can see the total amount of hours. And if you take that, and you divide it by 30, you get less than 90 weeks, which is obviously less than two years. That is with all the advanced buckets included. Well, that's kind of great, right? That means that you could definitely finish this in two years, provided you give 30 hours a week. And I can totally see how they think that 20 hours a week would even get you there. We still have a lot of time left here, but now we also have good amount of time to spend on our final project. You can see even the longest project, which will take six weeks, this is weeks, this is total hours. Six weeks at 30 hours a week would still be bringing me in, you know, way below two years, which is amazing because uh, that's my goal. <laughs> will I be able to keep to this plan? Will I be able to keep to the schedule? I have no idea. Um, I'm going to try and I'm going to update you guys as I go along, right? Because I want you to be a part of this journey. Yeah, that's that honestly is basically it, guys. That is my plan. I want to do Osu and this is my timeline. We'll see if I can stick to it. I really hope I can. I hope this motivates some of you to consider this path. If you are motivated and you really want to take this challenge, please leave a comment. Tell me what you want to do. Tell me how you plan to do it. Tell me, are you following the same thing? Are you also doing Osu? How far are you in Osu? Uh, maybe you're just starting, maybe you are planning on starting a bit later. I don't know. But let's build a community around this. Let's try and really get people involved, get people talking, get people excited about computer science, excited about higher education. It's at our fingertips. It's available to every single one of us. Let's take advantage of it. Why not? It's free. Well, mostly. I'll show you in future videos what I mean about mostly. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've liked this video, press that button. Consider subscribing because I will be giving you updates as I go through this process. I might even review some of the courses that I do because there's a lot of courses involved. Yeah, if, if you think this might be useful to somebody else that you know, consider sharing this video. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.